Hello, North Valley kids. It's me, Brian. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had lots of fun, maybe spending time with friends or family or opening your presents. I'm sure you had a good time. Well, maybe you knew this or maybe you didn't, but did you know the Christmas story actually goes a little bit past just the Christmas night when Jesus was born? The Bible tells us about the wise men and how they came also to worship God. But before we get into that, uh, I want to sing some songs with you guys. So let's go ahead and stand up and sing these Christmas songs one more time together.
And there were these wise men who would look at the stars to try to understand what was going to happen. Well, they saw the star for Jesus that was put in the sky by God. And so they began to travel to find this new king. Well, on their journey, they came to a place called Jerusalem, which was the capital of the Jewish people. And they came and they said, show us the king of the Jews. And the king was like, wait a minute, uh, I'm the king. What other king are you talking about? And so the wise men told uh, King Herod about how a new king had been born. Well, Herod didn't really like this, but he found out that the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem. So he sent the wise men there. And the wise men did what King Herod said. They went to Bethlehem. They found Jesus. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and really blessed Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. But the the story doesn't end there. In fact, after the wise men left, they decided not to go back to King Herod, even though King Herod asked them to tell him about Jesus. Uh, But instead, they just went back home. Well, Herod got really angry, and so he actually sent soldiers to go and capture and kill Jesus. But an angel warned Joseph to not go, uh, to not stay actually, but to go to Egypt and rescue and keep Jesus safe. And so that's exactly what he did. God protected Jesus. He kept him safe. All right, well now let's go ahead and look at this story in a little bit more detail. Hi everyone, I'm Megan and this is my friend Jesse. Hi, Megan, look at this cool race car. Whoa, I love it, Jesse. Where'd you get it? My friend Alyssa came to visit me all the way from Bustleville yesterday, and she gave it to me. I love it so much. That was really kind of her, Jesse. In today's Bible story, a group of people that we call the wise men came to visit Jesus from far, far away, and they brought him gifts too. Did they bring him a race car? (laughs) No, the wise men brought gifts of frankincense, gold, and myrrh. What kind of gifts are those? Gifts for a king. The wise men knew that Jesus was the one true king, so they gave him gifts that only a king would deserve. Let me tell you the story. Long ago, God promised to send a king to save his people from their enemies. The people waited a long time for their king, and the time had finally come. God's son, Jesus, was born in Bethlehem. At this time, Herod was the king over the land of Judea. Was Herod the king God promised? No, Herod was a bad king. Some wise men saw a star in the sky. It was a sign that Jesus had been born. So the wise men went to find Jesus. They came to King Herod. Where is the king of the Jews? They asked. We saw a star in the east. We want to worship the new king. King Herod was very angry. A new king? Herod was king. He asked the priests and scribes, Where is this king supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, just as the prophet said, his priests and scribes replied. Herod spoke to the wise men in secret. Go, find this child. When you find him, come tell me where he is, so I can worship him as king too. But Herod was lying. Herod didn't want to worship the new king. He wanted to kill him. The wise men followed the star to Jesus. They went into the house where Jesus was with his mother Mary. The wise men fell to their knees and worshiped Jesus. Then they gave Jesus gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time for the wise men to go home, God warned them in a dream not to tell Herod where Jesus was. So they took a different way home. After the wise men were gone, an angel appeared to Mary's husband, Joseph, in a dream. The angel said, take Jesus and Mary to Egypt and stay there. King Herod is looking for Jesus and wants to kill him. So in the middle of the night, Joseph got up and took Mary and Jesus to Egypt where they would be safe. A while later, 
After Herod had died, an angel spoke to Joseph again in a dream. Take Jesus and Mary to the land of Israel, because King Herod is dead now. Joseph did what the angel said. He got up and took Mary and Jesus to Israel. The wise men came to worship Jesus as king. God promised to send a king who would be king forever. Jesus is the king who will always be king. Jesus is the true king, and he deserves all our worship. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story and just seeing how God kept Jesus safe even in that kind of scary situation and how he brought uh, special gifts to help Jesus in his life. You know, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, these were all very special gifts. All right, well, now let's look at our big picture question. Our big picture question for today is... Why was Jesus born? Jesus was born to save and rescue us. And so we see, you know, Jesus' uh, life was to be a perfect life so that he could take our place for our sins. And that's exactly what he did. All right, and now let's go ahead and look at our memory verse. Our memory verse for today is Galatians 4, 4 through 5. God sent his son to redeem those under the law. And that's exactly it. Jesus came for a very specific purpose, which was to save us and help us follow him. All right, let's watch this song real fast to help us remember this verse. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed singing that song. Before we go, I want to pray for you. Jesus, I thank you for Christmas. I thank you that we have the story of seeing how you protected Jesus, even in kind of a scary time, and how you brought the wise men to help bring these special gifts. Lord, help us to follow you and trust you every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this last Christmas story. We're going to get back into our lesson about Jesus and how he does great things uh, for, for you and for me uh, next week. But until then, love you guys and see you later. Bye-bye.